Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to show you how to source thousands of high quality free stock photos from directly within WordPress. Okay, so it used to be if you were a blogger and you were using WordPress, you would have to go and purchase a stock photo subscription. And the reason you did this is because every single blog post or article or thing or podcast that you posted online, you wanted to make sure that you accompanied it with some sort of imagery. There's a lot of reasons for this. One of the, the top reasons is that it just makes the post look a little bit neater. It also gives people some visual cues about what you are about to talk about. Also, it's really useful for like Facebook and Twitter and even things like Pinterest as well. Because if somebody were to share your article, that image, that stock photo that you used would accompany that particular piece of content. However, that posed something of a challenge for content creators in that a lot of the free photos that were out there weren't really the best quality. And then if you wanted to go and purchase stock photos, that bill could start adding up over time, especially if you're just running a blog or a podcast that you aren't necessarily monetizing yet. Other people went down the route of just uh, you know, searching on Google and just using Google image search, which has landed many a blogger in hot water. There's actually some bloggers that have faced lawsuits that have cost them tens of thousands of dollars due to photographers filing lawsuits against those bloggers for using their photos without their permission. So suffice it to say, if you're going to use stock photos on your website, you wanna make sure that you have the license to be able to do that. Fortunately for us, there's a number of different stock photo websites that have been popping up, uh, popping up across the web that enable us to do exactly that. So Pexels is one, Unsplash is another. Uh, and these sites are constantly adding hundreds, if not thousands of really high quality stock photos. And the best part is that they're free for personal or commercial use, which means that you are able to use these on your blog, regardless of whether or not you are monetizing it. Now, these websites are great, they're useful. However, even still, if you're a WordPress user, there's a little bit of a uh, hassle that you have to go through and that you go to the website, you download the stock photo, then you gotta upload it to your library in WordPress. Then you gotta go, you know, search through your library, add it to your post. It's not all that much work, but the great news is, is that there's a relatively new plugin that has come out. It's absolutely free that you can install on your WordPress website and search directly within the Pexels photo library, uh, absolutely free. And again, it's right within the WordPress uh, admins you can just go through and search just as you would another photo in your media library from within WordPress. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how this plugin works as well as how to get it set up totally free. Okay so here we are at the Pexels website. Now traditionally what you would have to do is you'd go in here and let's say you wanted a photo uh, about somebody using Instagram. You'd search and it's not, it's not too bad. You'd click on this and you'd maybe download the large size and then you'd go through the process of installing that directly onto your WordPress website. But the great thing is, is that there is now a plugin that's available that makes this whole process a lot easier. So I'm within a demo site I've set up for WordPress. First thing you're gonna wanna do is head on over to plugins. Uh, and once you uh, access plugins, you just wanna go to add new. And we're just gonna search the WordPress repository for the word Pexels. It's gonna give us a, a couple of options here. The one that I typically use is this one. So uh, once you find Pexels free stock photos, you're just gonna click install now. Once that's been installed, we're just gonna click activate and then we'll see that it's activated. Now the next thing I like to do is I go over to settings and then at the bottom you'll see Pexels photos. So we're just gonna click on that. And this is totally up to you. Uh, what it does automatically is it inserts an image caption with attribution. So all that this means is that below your photo, it's going to give the name of the photographer and then a link back to that page on Pexels. It's totally up to you. Sometimes they keep it on, sometimes they keep it off. If you wanna turn it off, which we're gonna do just for the sake of this example, check this box here that says, uh, or uncheck, I should say, automatically insert image captions with uh, attribution. And for some reason it stayed checked, so just click it again and then it, it fixes it. Um, okay, so uh, there we go. So we've got that unchecked. Now let's go ahead and jump into one of our sample posts here. 
And then we're gonna head on over to Hello World just so we have a nice post to work with for the sake of this example. There we go here. So we could say, here is a nice photo. And then what you would do is pretty much exactly what you would do if you're gonna add image from uh, an image from your media library, except now you've got this new tab over here on the left-hand sidebar, which has Pexels images. So we're just gonna click that and you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to search the entire Pexels image library. So let's go ahead and do the same search that we did earlier, which was Instagram. Hit enter and you're gonna see that it's automatically gonna search Pexels. And yes, these are all free and open source. So we're just gonna click this button and it's gonna import it into our media library. So we're gonna give that a moment just to do that download. There we go. It's now in our media library and it takes us now to the next step uh, of actually incorporating this image if we wanted to add, uh, you know, alternative text we can. So Instagram, you can add a caption. Again, they'll automatically add a caption with attribution in here if you left that box checked. Uh, you can link it to a URL, you can change the alignment. And in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and do the full size image and we're going to click insert into post. Okay, and we see that after we've done that, it automatically sources that image in there for us. So we can just go ahead and click update. And then we can view the post and there you go. It's right inside the post, just as you would imagine it would be. Okay, so now let's go ahead and edit this post again. And let's say that we wanted to uh, set this particular image as our featured image. So for now, we're just gonna delete it. So click update. Okay, so then instead of adding this to our post body itself, let's say we wanna actually use this image as the featured image of our post. Now, typically what we could do is select this and then click use as featured image. But for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these other versions I had uploaded. And then what we're gonna do is go right back to where we were before, which is Pexels images. And let's go ahead and do that search one more time. And then instead, let's say we wanna use this one. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and instead of inserting it into the post, instead we're gonna click this button to use as featured image, it says that it's done and then we're gonna save all changes. Then we're gonna close this and you'll see that it has automatically been added to this post as the featured image. We're gonna click update and we're gonna view the post. And there you go. You see that it's been used as the background and in this particular theme, that's how the featured image shows up. Again, it's gonna change, it's gonna differ based upon the type of uh, theme you're using, how that particular featured image post gets used. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. I just wanted to share that really quick tip with you. I think it's gonna save you a lot of time and headaches as well, because I know in the past, I've had a lot of clients who had to finagle with two or three different stock photo websites that they held subscriptions to, and they just found that the cost was just starting to get way too high. And then plus using some of these other free stock photo places, there can be a little bit of extra time involved. Hopefully this will give you free uh, open source stock photos that you can use on all of your sites and do so in a much more efficient and effective way. So as always, if you found this video useful or helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.